Let's learn English through Educatoon with Teacher Aya. Before we start with our new lesson today, let's play a quick game. Can you give me a name of person that starts with the letter A? That's right. The possible answers are Aya, Anna, Alden, or Abby. What about a place? That starts with the letter P. P. Correct. Other possible answers are Philippines, Palawan, Peru, or Poland. Lastly, can you name a thing that starts with the letter S? S. Very good! Possible answers are scissors, sketchpad, salt, or star. Good job, kids! Did you know that your answers are what we call nouns? So based on your answers, what is a noun? That's right. Noun is a name of person, place, thing, animal, or event. And nouns can be classified as mass nouns, count nouns, possessive nouns, and collective nouns. Let's begin with mass nouns and count nouns. Count nouns are nouns that can be counted or pluralized. Examples Can you count how many books do I have? Correct! I have one book. Therefore, a book is a count noun. And its plural form is books. So, if you are now pertaining to two or more books, we have to use its plural form, which is books. Example, I have four books. Another, my mother bought me five apples. Apple is also a count noun since it can be counted. In that sentence, how many apples did my mother buy for me? That's right, five apples. Some other examples of count nouns are bag for a singular noun, and then its plural form is bags, pen, pens, table, tables. Cup, cups, dress, dresses. Can you think of some other count nouns? Go ahead, type in your answers in the comment box below. Mass nouns are nouns that cannot be counted. Let's categorize the mass nouns. We have liquids and gases, solid and granular substances, subjects, information and abstract concepts, and energy terms. So for liquids and gases, some of the words that are considered mass nouns are milk, water, coffee, tea, air, oxygen, and oil. We do not necessarily have to put a letter S in order for us to pluralize these words. 
because they are mass nouns. They cannot be counted. For solid and granular substances, we have sand, salt, sugar, wood, rice, and metal. Mass nouns for the subjects are economics, English, physics, or science. For information and abstract concepts, some examples are information, advice, education, and intelligence. For energy terms, the words are electricity, heart, and sunshine. These words, we no longer count them like one, two, or three. Instead, we use noun counters like a glass of water or eight glasses of water. Let's try to use that in a sentence. We have to drink eight glasses of water every day. So notice, in mass nouns, we don't really have to write letter S at the end of the word to make it plural. We instead have to use noun counters. Just remember, count nouns are those that can be counted. If not, then those are mass nouns. Let's practice. Identify if the underlined word is a mass noun or a count noun. 1. I had a glass of milk before I went to bed. I had a glass of milk before I went to bed. Number 2. Riza bought 7 pens of different colors. Riza bought seven pens of different colors. Three, I need to get information about the retrieval of modules. Three, I need to get information about the retrieval of modules. Four, your book is on the kitchen table. Your book is on the kitchen table. And five, Lena just received her order of four socks. Five, Lena just received her order of four socks. Ready to check your answers? Number one. Mass noun. Two, count noun. Three, mass noun. Four, count noun. And five, count noun. Great! We can now proceed to the next classifications of nouns. Possessive nouns show ownership. To make most singular nouns show possession, add an apostrophe and then S, like the dog's collar. This pertains to the collar of the dog. Teacher's table. This pertains to the table of the teacher. Now, if the noun already ends with letter S, then we should only have to add an apostrophe. Now, if the noun already ends with letter S, then we should only add an apostrophe. As in, Julie's Bake Shop. Which pertains to the bake shop of Julie's. And Lady's Bag. Which pertains to the bag of the ladies. So, how do we show possessive noun if we are pertaining to the painting of Reynaldo? 
take note, if the word ends with letter S, we only have to add apostrophe. If not, then we have to add apostrophe and then S to the noun. Again, painting of Reynaldo. Correct. We should say Reynaldo's painting. How about if we are pertaining to the grocery list of the mother? That is correct. We can say the mother's grocery list. What about the notebook of Charles? Very good. It is Charles notebook just apostrophe you're doing good kids this time let us talk about collective nouns a collective noun is a word used to represent a group of people animals or things there are lots of collective nouns here are some examples of the most common ones Examples of collective nouns for a group of people, band of musicians, choir of singers, class of students, and team of players. For animals, we say flock of birds, pack of wolves, school of fish, and pride of lions. For things, examples are bouquet of flowers, forest of trees, pair of shoes, and range of mountains. Let's try to pick some and use them in a sentence. Lando arrived with the band of musicians to serenade Rochelle. Band of musicians. Number two, every flock of birds flies in a V formation overhead, flapping its wings together to reach its destination. Flock of birds. And number three, Mandy received a bouquet of flowers from Troy. Bouquet of flowers. Now it's your turn. Pick one collective noun or you can even think of your own collective noun and use it in a sentence. Type in your sentence in the comment section below. Great job kids! You learned a lot today. See you next time! Do not forget to hit like and subscribe to Teacher Aya Educatun. Thank you!